Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. This is what we're making today. <laughs> it says, it's my birthday. So it's a cute little headband. Um, this is what it looks like in real life, and then you see what it looks like on screen. So I'm gonna show you how to make this. This requires an offset. So let's go into Inkscape, our very, very favorite. All right, so here's the new one. We are gonna do, it's my birthday. So the first thing you need to do is click on the text. And then it's the font is Happy Popcorn. It's on Font Bundles, it's free. I love this text because you can do so much with it. So I'm gonna show you first. Let's type it out so that you can see why I love it so much. So let's make a text box. Now, because we're doing everything in design space, I also know that I wanna do It's My on the top and kind of, in. I wanna do it in lowercase and then I want birthday in uppercase. So. Let's type it out, it's, and oops, whoa. Give it lots of space because we're doing an offset. So when we're doing an offset, you just don't want it to attach to each other, okay? And here's birthday. Okay, it's really hard to see because it's super small. So go to your arrow, click on here, make sure it's locked and then make it bigger so we can see what we're dealing with. All right, so it's my birthday. First thing we're gonna do is we, we're already on the arrow. If anything is highlighted, you wanna click in the empty white space so that it's not nothing's highlighted. Go to your paint bucket, click any color, it really doesn't matter. And I think I did 30 and 50 offset, okay? so. We're gonna click on grow and we want 30. So here's our first offset. Click in the T, see how it gave us that offset. We need it on the S and we also need it on the little apostrophe, okay? There we go. On this one, click in the M. And on this one, because nothing's connected, we're gonna need to click on each individual letter. Okay, it's missing that little, Thing down here you know what I'm gonna undo for a second I'm gonna undo I'm gonna go back to that eye I've noticed that hold on let's undo all of these oh my good lord come on oh there is when I click on the eye if I click on a bigger space I'm gonna click right here and see oh I still didn't do it good grief come on I did not have this trouble when I did it the first time. Holy, there. <laughs> Let's do the R, the T, H. We're almost there. Don't worry about the inside. We will fix that in design space. All right. Let's click on the arrow, click in the white space, um, click on the paint bucket, pick another color, and then this time we're gonna grow by 50. Okay, so now just click in the blue, click in the blue, we should be good, yes. Click on the arrow, grab everything, and then go to path, object to path, and then file, save as. I've already saved this file. So I'm not gonna save it again. I'm just gonna cancel out of it, but you save it, okay? Now in here, what you wanna do is, hold on, let me go to a different one. Oh, you know what, I can, sorry, let's go back there. We can do this. Let's customize it so you can see what it looks like. I'm just gonna replace it. Okay, so here's, uh, what just happened? Okay, so here's our final, okay? Let's go find our thing. So let's upload. You wanna upload your image, go find, browse, find your document, your image. I already have mine, so I'm gonna cancel. I'm gonna go to upload, and here's mine. Okay, insert. Okay, so here's our little piece. You wanna ungroup it. And then we wanna weld everything, okay? So for instance, um, okay, 
Okay, so this one's fine. This is the it's, right? Go to contour, hide all, because I don't like those little bubbles. We don't need those bubbles. We just want a full offset, right? And then on the red, you want to hit your shift key and grab the apostrophe and the S and weld. So that's the white layer. Go to contour, hide all. And then here's our black layer. Our black layer you need to ungroup. Okay, and then let's grab this. And let's just weld it because I didn't want to deal with these each individual letters, so I ended up doing iron on vinyl. Okay, so all right, so here's it. So you see how it's coming together? We're gonna do the same thing with this. Grab that Y and the M by hitting the shift key and grabbing the M and weld it. So here's that, here's my black layer, here's my red layer. You can go to arrange, send to the front. Okay, there's that. And then you can send this to the front. And there you have that layer, okay? So let's work on this layer. Um, so birthday, let's go on to the panel over here and just grab everything for birthday. Hit the shift key and just keep grabbing it all. So I know my face is in the way. Give me a second, I'll move it so you can see it. I'm gonna scroll down, grab the rest of this and weld it. So there's my birthday. Here's my blue layer, I'm gonna go to contour and I'm gonna hide all. Okay, so that's my most back layer. Then here's my, oh, this fell off. Hold on, let's undo that for a second. Okay, so here's my blue layer and it also has, what is this? Oh no, okay, so I want my blue layer and I want my little, the little, exclamation point and I'm going to weld it together. There we go. I'm going to go to contour, hide all to get rid of those holes and then arrange send to the back just so visually we can see what's going on. Okay. All right. So here's our red. Just grab everything and weld. Okay. So our red is missing that little, I don't know what happened to it. We can easily fix that. Just go grab a circle, make it smaller. So it looks like it's an offset of that little exclamation mark, maybe a little bit smaller right there and put it over, right? And then grab the rest of the red and weld it. Okay, so now we're gonna send that one, arrange, move backwards. Perfect, okay? Now, what I know about, the, about this is I like it to be about six inches across. So let's move these down. Let's group it so that it moves together, okay? And we'll, oops. And we wanna group this one as well. Grab all of this and group it so it's moving as one piece. Okay. Now I like it six inches across and about four and a half inches for my words, okay? So if I put this closer to here, because we do want to weld that background, okay? This one, maybe we can move this one down a little bit more. Let's see how big this is. So this is 3.9 by six inches. So we're good with the six inches. If you wanna make the birthday bigger, this is what I would do. I would grab these things, unlock it, and make it longer. And see, this font is so awesome because look, you can make it really long, it still looks good. You can make it really wide, and it still looks good. So um, let's keep this about six inches, and maybe, all right, let's see how big this is now. So this is now six inches by 4.3, perfect. 
So now what we want to do is we want to weld our blue layers. So all you do is go to your panel over here and grab all your blue. So here's my first one. I'm going to hit the shift key. Here's my second one. And then I'm going to scroll down. Here's my last one and weld it. Okay, and I'm gonna get rid of those holes. I don't really care for those holes. I'm gonna hit contour, hide all. So it's gonna be one solid piece and I'm gonna arrange it and send it to the back. That way you can see what it looks like. So in my original, that's the blue background. Then my red is white. So I'm gonna go grab my red over here. Okay, and change it to white. So I'm gonna go over here and change it to white so I can see. And then it's, I'm gonna get rid of this right now. Or I can leave it here. Um, but it's my birthday. I did that in a blue vinyl, iron on vinyl. I'm gonna change that to blue just so that we can see. All right, so that's what this ended up looking like. I, it's matched up now, okay? Let me show you how to do this little piece right here. So go to images. We're gonna look for the banner. I mean, there might be a better way to do this, but I like the banner shape. So it was, let me see, where are you? Um, here, it was this banner shape, okay? Or maybe even this one would work, but let's do this one because I think this is the one I chose. So insert image, And just weld it because we want to get we want it to be one item so let's weld it okay so you have your piece and then i'm going to just take a square and i'm going to slice off this part see i'm going to make it look like this so i'm going to bring this down turn it over a little bit and it really this part doesn't matter because we end up covering it with the tissue paper. This is just to give us stability and for it to go around our headband, okay? But I'm gonna cut it off like right around here. So grab the two items and slice. And get rid of your slice results. Oh my goodness, what did I just do? Let me undo real quick. Is everything coming back? Okay, whoo. All right, so grab these two items and slice. <laughs> then get rid of these items. We don't need any of the slice results, okay? We just want the big banner that's left. And then we wanna do it on this side. So let's bring out our shape, get another square. And like I said, this little piece, you can make it more perfect. You can slice off that piece if it bothers you. Um, I ended up, I have this shape and I have it saved. So every time I go to do a, um, a headband, I have it already. Okay, and I'll show you what I mean by that. So I'm gonna slice this. If you're a stickler for making things even, then by all means, slice this one at this angle, okay? Then to add the teeth, so this is usually about an inch and a half. So I'm gonna make it just a little bit smaller and then I'm gonna add the teeth, okay? So the teeth, they're just little squares. So here's one, I'm gonna unlock it so I can make it into a square. And then I'm going to duplicate it, put one in the middle, and then I'm going to duplicate it. And you can see, I don't really have exact measurements or where I'm putting it, but this is just to make your headband sta stable. And you can see mine is uneven over here. It doesn't matter. We're going to fold it up and glue it to the headband, weld it. And then you're gonna stick this and weld it to your background, okay? So you're gonna grab your background, hit the shift key, grab this, and weld it. 
And then you can send it to the back, arrange, send to the back. And then I'm gonna bring this one, I'm gonna send it to the front. So you can see it's about the same size, I think. Okay, so I made the other one a little bit bigger so we can just grab this whole thing and make it a little bit smaller. Okay, that's it. Now let's go to the Make It screen. I'm gonna delete this. Let's go to the Make It screen. So my white layer is my white cardstock, white glitter cardstock. This is my background, which is my blue glitter cardstock. This is iron on vinyl. So you're gonna wanna mirror it and then cut. That's it. And then I have the video on how to assemble it. So don't miss it. I hope that was helpful. Let me know what you wanna see. I would love to help you on your project. And then just let me know if this, you know, hit the mark or not. All right, thanks guys, bye.